Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of uh, Ask the Expert. We really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and, and, and viewing with us today. We've got uh, JT Wobbledeen. Uh, he's the Vice President of Sales uh, with Nord Gears. JT, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? We're well, doing good. Again, we really appreciate you uh, appreciate you joining us, and and we'll dive right right into the questions. Um, can you just kind of describe to the people watching today that may not know uh, what exactly Nord does, and uh, just some of the principal industries that you guys serve? Yeah, sure. So so Nord is a is a global manufacturer. We really do three things. You can break it down into three buckets. We we design and manufacture gear motors and gear boxes or speed reducers. Uh, we do standalone AC motors and brake motors. And then the third area is an AC, uh, basically frequency drive, both in a, a panel mounted style and then a decentralized uh, version of that. And so, you know, we're, we're supplying to machine builders and conveyor manufacturers throughout the world. And really the, the industries that we're focused on right now are uh, number one would be intralogistics, so anything that has to do with e-commerce um, okay. and warehouse and distribution. Um, and then also in the airport industry, baggage handling systems. Uh, we focus on food and beverage. And then the last piece would be in the uh, agribusiness or grain uh, bulk storage and handling. Okay, great. Um, you know, as, as most industries, uh, everything's evolving, but specifically manufacturing is evolving uh, through energy uh, efficiency and innovation. How, how have you guys uh, adapted to that trend? Yeah, we've seen a couple things. Um, first of all, there's some government regulations and trends uh, towards higher efficient motors. So there's regulations. In fact, this June, uh, all gear motors have to be premium efficient. So there's a push, uh, you know, on the on the regulation side. But the other thing that we see is uh, just any any user or uh, manufacturing facility is very conscious about uh, power consumption. Okay. And so, um, and with our products, not only on the on the motor side but the gearbox side as well, there's more emphasis on efficient mechanical solutions being combined with those motors. Uh, it's interesting. I mean, this is uh, especially the gear side, just a really interesting business. Uh, are, are there any uh, any other manufacturing patterns that that you guys have seen over the uh, over the last five years? Yeah, I think. I mean, I think as most most people in most industries know that there's there's a lot of emphasis put on um, lean practices, yep. Yep. Uh, increasing efficiency. So. You know, with our customers, we've you know we we feel we have the best products you know on the marketplace, but they want those at, at a really competitive price, sure. you know, so that they can win projects. And so, so we've seen a huge emphasis on on increasing our efficiency in our plant and and being able to you know pass that savings along to the customer. Um, the other thing that we see too is with with plant design. Maybe five years ago, early on, there was a lot of emphasis put on the gearbox itself and more of the mechanical solution of the plant and today the first step is is what what are we going to do on the electronic side so you know what's the system bus that's going to be used and then the mechanical pieces really just fall in line after that so that's really been a shift right that's interesting that is there any um example maybe of, of uh, your world-class products which you guys have is there, do you have a specific example of how your products have transformed an operation uh, through your uh, energy efficient product? Yeah, maybe maybe a couple of examples. Um, we just finished a uh, a distribution center project that typically would have used a a lower efficient worm gear product, which maybe is seventy percent efficient. And when you move to a helical bevel solution, which is like ninety-seven percent efficient, you can do two things. First, you can reduce the the, the motors that are that are needed on all those conveyors uh, because you're basically putting through that motor power almost at a hundred percent efficient gearing solution. And so they can reduce the size of the motors, and then also from an operating standpoint, you're using less power. So that would be one. Um, another one, we did a nice project at the. Uh, uh, Hamburg Airport in Germany, you know, really putting in new conveyor and baggage uh, handling system there, and um, really increase the reliability and efficiency of that of that operation as well. 
you know, uh, which is great. And I, and I think that's something to kind of lead into the next question with this. You know, I, in the industrial air side specifically, we always talk about it being the fourth utility and being the heart of the economy. And what you guys produce, too, is the same thing. I mean, without, uh, you know, the, these types of gearboxes, without uh, the industrial air applications, you know, manufacturing, these things just kind of cease to exist. So if we have somebody watching this show or, you know, this, this production – uh, it has no clue uh, of, of what we do in general in the industry, but specifically Nord. Uh, can you kind of give me some, you know, t- to that person, like something that, that you guys have worked on that would be just recognized uh, throughout the world and just some of your, your more well-known applications? Yeah, maybe maybe just a few maybe well-known or maybe interesting applications. Yeah, so yeah. we do a lot of uh, work in the theater industry as well as construction for buildings that maybe – uh, have uh, open and closed roofs or sides of buildings. So maybe in particular for this weekend, so like the Arizona Cardinals Stadium, the, the 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 turf or actually the grass that they roll in and out. So those are powered by Nord gear. That motors. is really cool. Uh, also, we do a lot in the mixing and agitating business. So uh, the world's largest toothpaste mixer, which is about 30 feet tall, right. uh, we power that with a Nord gear motor. And then... Uh, also, maybe another one in Washington, D.C., uh, you know, each evening the, the U.S. Uh, uh, Constitution basically is rolled in and out, um, you know, for safety purposes, and, and that's powered by a Nord gear motor as well. So those are just maybe some of the more unique things, but anything that's turning a shaft or moving a conveyor or moving material handling equipment, that's, you know, powered by some type of uh, gear motor. Yeah, you know, that's what... Uh... Uh, we, I always talk about it, you know, and that's that's the main reason we started the website is is to promote what this industry does and, and the products that, so I, I would assume somewhere in you guys is uh, when you're making the gearboxes, you'll have air compressors and it's just like, you know, without these products, you know, our economy ceases to exist. So I, it's really cool about the toothpaste and the uh, and the stadium. Those are things that just people can, can touch, you know, can touch and tangibly see. And that's, that's the goal, is to kind of promote the industry as a whole. So that's a wonderful example. All right, so your next trade show will, will be uh, in Austin. Um, can, you, can you describe uh, some of the products that you guys are going to be showing and displaying there? Yeah, sure. We're really excited about Jeeps. This is the fifth year that we've uh, participated in the Jeeps Exchange. And what's interesting about that industry is there is a huge emphasis on reliability, safety, um, and efficient solutions. And so it fits our product well. Typical in, in that industry, maintenance people that know how to properly tension V-belt drives is, is going by the wayside. And so with products like, like we offer, basically it's, it's an install and something that you can forget about. And so we're going we're gonna to have our f- full portfolio of products there. We also are going to uh, put emphasis on a, a new product, called our Nord Max Drive, which is a, a large industrial box. Um, it's used primarily in that industry on bucket elevators, which is really the heart of, of a grain handling facility. And oh, so, cool. yeah. Yeah, we're going to be displaying that as well. well. That's great. You know, those shows are obviously uh, such a good opportunity to get in and, and, and see a bunch of different people at one time. So that's great. So, you know, I just kind of leave it up, you know, open to you. Uh, you just anything that, that you'd like to cover, any any kind of uh, high-level items that you'd like to talk about? Um, yeah, I mean, I, th- I think the, the only other thing that maybe just in terms of the trends that, that we're seeing out there and maybe others are is that, um, you know, right now in this economy, it's, it's really hard for our customers to tell us tomorrow what size project they're going to have and, right. you know, how many how many units are going to need. And so we've tried to be really flexible and in, in keeping our lead times very short. We, we ship about 50% of our product in five days or less um, and 90% in two to three weeks. And we do that, you know, making the product to order. And so we think moving forward, that's going to be more important because um, I think it's, it's becoming less and less that, that people know can forecast exactly what's coming down the pipe. So we're really excited about that. We've put a lot of investment in our facility here, and, and uh, we're looking forward to taking advantage of that. Well, JT, that's great. I, I just really appreciate you guys taking the time uh, to be with us today. A, a lot of good information there. And once again, uh, a product that, that, that people um, you know on the, on the street or just kind of in the day-to-day uh, world may not recognize. But I, we really appreciate you guys giving some great examples and, 
and tell us how, you, how you're uh, making a difference in the industry. So really appreciate your time. Thanks a lot for having me. I appreciate it.